If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, Laws on the Road subscribers and followers. I can't do this. That's a, that's a common comment that I get. I can't do this, and there's a variety of reasons why they can't do it. Uh, time, they don't have the time to, and when I say you can't do this, uh, I'm talking about living out here. Uh, you know, obviously we have a pop-up, we're living in a pop-up. So they say I can't do this because of time, or health, uh, money, age, whatever the case is. Which got me to thinking about our um, situation um, and how we had to go about doing it. And so I'm going to put this in one of those little nuance series where, you know, I try to give you the emotional effects or aspects of, of what we do and, you know, what we had to overcome emotionally, um, the feelings of things. So I'm going to put that under this category of a nuance series. You know, I was going to try to give advice on, on yes, you can, but I decided not to. I thought I'd, I'd just focus on, on what we did. Um, that way I'm not, you know, arguing that, yeah, you can do it if you do this and this and this. It might give you insight on, oh, well, you know, they, they faced the same challenges as, as, as you know, I'm facing. And maybe I can take a look at this again. So, um, let's talk about time. Time. I was working 60, 70 hours a week. Carolyn and I both worked. And no, we didn't have time to do anything. We just absolutely didn't have time to do anything other than work. Um, so, you know, obviously we can't start this lifestyle because we didn't have time to actually get going. Um, no, we never had time. But we forced ourselves to think about what we wanted to do. And I've talked about this a lot and how, you know, the situation came up where we... We quit our jobs. We did quit our jobs. Of course, you know, that talks about money, and I'll get into money in a little bit. But we made time. And yes, we said we can't do this many times because we didn't have time. And we, you know, we had this four-year plan, and we were going to do it in four years. And, and by that time, you know, we were worried about our age. Are we actually going to still be able to do it? And all this stuff. So, you know... The more you start ta looking at the can't, the negative, the can't, the more easily it is to just say, all right, I'm not going to do it. But it takes a lot of effort to say, yes, I can. We just got to figure out how to do it. How am I going to get the time to do it? And so, like I said, you know, we, we quit our jobs and spent two months getting ready. And here we are. And it is a wonderful life. Okay. Health, that's another one that, that's brought up a lot. I can't do it because of my health. Okay. Um, you know, I'm 45. I'm still, you know, doing pretty good. Carolyn's 55. She's in... But you can see that as we get older, the health is taking an issue. Carolyn actually has a severe back issue. It's a de degrading back issue. It will continue to get worse and worse and worse. Uh... When I first met her, uh, she was a supervisor at the company I worked for, and she worked for me. Um, she would come into work just crawling. Uh, we had a wheelchair there for accidents. She would get in a wheelchair. Uh, our maintenance guy actually got her a walker one time and tried to get her to use the walker. She was in constant pain. Um, now, like I said, it's a degrading back problem, and it's always going to get worse and worse and worse, but she is trying to take methods. She, first thing she did, she got off the medication, and I'm not telling anybody to get off medication. I'm not even suggesting that this is even feasible for you, but we had to look at it, and I keep coming back to we. We had to look at her back issues, and is there anything that we can do to make her back issues better? And exercise was a big deal. She lost a little bit of weight and started exercising, or vice versa, or however you want to look at it. And the symptoms 
are much better. She is not crawling around on the floor anymore. There are times that it is difficult for her to get out of bed or, you know, go for a walk. But, you know, it loosens up and she, she'll go for the walk. I'm not saying that she's going to be able to do this forever. But it, the symptoms have gotten better. So we could have said, no, we can't do this because of Carolyn's health issues. You know, her back issues. So, again, what can we do to overcome it? I don't, again, I'm going to come back to this almost after every subject. I don't want everybody to think, oh, well, they didn't have to deal with this problem. Well, we did have to deal with it. And it was a significant problem, very significant problem. And we, and we were able to overcome it. And, and here we are, living in our pop-up. Okay, the number three is money. Yeah, money is a big deal. I get it. Money is a big deal. Well, I have done a video on becoming debt-free, and I'll put that right here. And I'll also put later, somewhere, just give it a few minutes, uh, our monthly budget. I was, I think, $50,000 in debt. Um, and it would have been very easy to say, we can't do this because we have so much debt. Um, so don't think that, you know, I was, I was born with a silver spoon. I wasn't. As a matter of fact, Carolyn and I have been poor most of our lives. And I think you could consider us poor now. We just have a little bit of savings. That's, that's it. Um, and if you look at our budget, you know, $800 a month, you know, that's, nobody can live on that. That's what everybody tells me. You can't live on that. Well, yeah, you can, and we're very happy living on that. So, I guess the point is, is what we decided to do is get rid of the bills. We paid off the debt. I mean, and that's all we focused on for two years is paying off the debt. You watch that debt-free video. I mean, boy, we that was it. Paying off the debt. And so, while we're paying off debt, we are learning how to live frugally. Frugally, is that a word? I don't know. Well, that, I'm using it. We have learned that we don't need to go and spend a lot of money. We don't need to spend, you know, eight, nine hundred dollars on food each month. We can do it relatively cheaply. I mean, we, we can come in around 200 bucks a month, 300 bucks a month on food. And we eat healthy. As a matter of fact, Carolyn is making a homemade pizza right now. You know, we're not going out to eat. We're having a pizza on the campfire. Um, so you can learn, you know, you can say, I can't, I can say, I can't do it because we don't have the money. Or you can learn, like we did, how to live life very happily, frugally. Again, I'm not sure that's a word, but it, if it's not, I'm taking ownership of that word. Okay, age. That was another one, age. Um, I'm not going to talk about ourselves because I would think most people think that we're fairly young and that you would have a long time left to do this that's fine but I do know a lady 72 years old who is getting ready to live in a teardrop um, and yes she has talked to me about having health issues in the past and that when she got rid of the stress in her life the health issues started to subside uh, she's off the blood pressure medications and all kinds of things um, so I'm just going to give you that story. Age. Age can't be an issue. If you know a 72 year old lady can do it, I'm sure somebody in their 60s. Heck, I just met uh, John today and he's traveling all over the place. He goes home for a little while, gets a little money saved up, and off the road he goes again. I'm not going to give you his age, uh, but you know, obviously he's older than me and he's retired. So, you know, that kind of gives you an indication. Uh, but, I mean, he he is wanting to get the life in. I mean, he, he just wants to go and see everything. And he's got this little plaque on the side of his camper that says, uh, Been there, done that. And going back again to do it, uh, going back to do it again. <laughs> so, uh, he's not going to let age get in his way. Anyway, uh, I can't should be changed to I can. 
I can do it. I just got to figure out how. So anyway, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video. And happy travels.